Hello everyone, this is Little Black Dragon, and you are watching another installment of Let's Play Dragon Age Awakening Dwarven Commoner Edition. In our last installment, uh, we managed to get into the Architect's Laboratory and learn a little bit more about him, and we ran into a Canari merchant that we convinced to come with us to Vigil's Keep, eventually. So, uh, this is the point of no return, uh, and I'm not going to waste my time, so let's just get this over with, shall we? Uh ho, and here is the architect himself. And there's Serrani. And the dolphin chick. Oh dear. I remember these two. I hate this fight. I really do. Okay, let's see. Guide my arm. Let's see. If you insist. Okay, let's equip everybody with everything. Draw to time. Okay, then perhaps we should have a and I'm off. Getting away! No! You won't get away with this! No! Okay, that happened. No! Why is she with that monster? We must get to her. We'll find another way, I promise. How? Where does this go? They're Darkspawn. They'll head for the Deep Roads. The home of the Children of Stone. Yes. They say Wardens can sense Darkspawn even deep beneath the ground. I would join the Grey Wardens. 
Give me the ability to hunt down these monsters in the deep. The joining could kill you. At the very least, it's hard to get the taste out of your mouth for a few hours. I am not afraid of death. I will pledge my service to you in exchange for the powers your order can grant. What say you? All right. Welcome to the Grey Wardens, then. Ma Siranas. Shall we go, then? I've had enough of this place. Which will start the quest Valana's joining. And we'll grab this stuff. And this stuff. And our way out is this way. Meanwhile... And he has his mask removed. Unfortunate. No, it is lost to us now. There is no point in returning, Uther. Your former comrades are impressive. They will be difficult to convince. No, Uther. I will fulfill my promise to you. All is not lost yet. Come. We must prepare for battle. Hmm. Former comrades. Was she a Grey Warden? Well, I say we head back to Vigil's Keep. And any second now. Oh dear. Thank the Maker you arrived. Things are getting out of hand. My son is starving! Open the granaries! Bloody feed your people! Grave times, Commander. The common folk are getting desperate. Maybe you can say a few words. Calm them down. Make them see reason. Varol, you don't coddle a revolt. You put it down. Just give me the order. Hmm. Now more than ever, we must stand together. We will not be... Let the commander speak. But we must eat. We... Quiet! I will provide for my people, trust me. Don't believe the commander's empty words. If we get to the granaries, we can feed our families. Ha! No, no. Let's fight them out quickly! Am I now? Yes. Analogy. Hmm. Peasant uprisings. They never end well. There had to be another way. You know as well as I that if you give in to the mob, you're ruled by the mob. You're right, Caravel. I'll be in the keep. So you're saying it was all mob mentality? That's not fair. The pet. Oh, the ride is over and the peasants have gone home. <laughs> well, that's not what these bodies here are telling me, but whatever. And we have lots of people to talk to. Let's start over here. 
You're back. You need anything? I found an ore deposit. Oh, <laughs> this will help a great deal. Wade, the commander found a silverite deposit. Armor and weapons could be made with this. I'll just get to it then. No one appreciates. And let's talk to Master Wade. Yes, Commander? I found this ancient bark in the heart of a living tree. Let me see, let me see! <gasps> oh, amazing! This might be heartwood. Heartwood? What's heartwood? I'm not exactly sure. The Dalish elves are so prickly about sharing. If I were allowed to experiment with this, I might be able to make a bow. Or a shield, yes. I can't do that right now, you understand. Here's a list of materials I need. They may be a trifle hard to come by, but you must get them. Okay. Hmm. Well, we have oil and cat gut. We don't have the other two, though. But we're not too worried about those, so... I think we'll be alright. Let's go talk with Voldrick. Any luck finding the granite? The Wending Wood has some granite. Splendid. But I can't risk my men to darkspawn attacks. You'll have to send soldiers to secure the site. Uh... Fine, you'll have your guards. Thank you, Commander. The vigil will not fall, I swear it. All right. And it's time to head back into the keep. Well, that w was an eventful day. Hey, Commander. We need to talk. Of course, Ogren. Dreams. You get them. Yeah, this is a Grey Warden thing, huh? Why didn't anyone tell me? Hmm. I apologize. I should have warned you. In my dream, I saw one of those bloated, vomit-smeared broodmothers, and it had Hespeth's face. You remember Hespeth, don't you? Bronca was there, and whispered, It's time! And Hespeth screamed, and a thousand darkspawn burst from her! What then? Then the darkspawn surrounded me and started talking, asking me if I would like lemon in my tea. And could I please teach them to read and write? And, and one of them kept repeating, Where's the baby? And that's when I woke up. Hmm. I dream of the Darkspawn, but not like that. Huh. Well, I do get other dreams about Darkspawn. Mostly shadows and murmuring, but nowhere is scary. Thanks for listening, Commander. And Ogryn approves plus two. Uh, somebody's got issues, maybe. In the Fade, the world changes around you constantly, but not here. All right. Let's see. Lands meet shield. We don't need that. And let's see, what else? Well, we could give out some gifts. In fact... Hmm... In fact, 
I believe we have something. For Valana. Thank you. This is a lovely gift. And I think this is a gift for Anders. You shouldn't have. And I think this is for Valana. Oh, I am touched. Thank you. Yep. And this is for Nathaniel. This is nice. Where did you find this? This belongs to Serenity. Thank you. Thank you so much. I envy you sometimes. Why? Your children will have heard of at least a half a dozen of your paragons before the age of three. These tales are taken for granted. They are so abundant. Oh, it makes me angry sometimes. We Dalish have lost most of our history and our legends. What we do remember, we hold dear. Hmm. We can share stories. They belong to everyone. But does a human child value the tale of the Paragon Idukan as much as he does Dane and the werewolf? Stories connect us to our past. They shape a people in profound ways. Without them, we are lost. I just wish I could do something to restore this lost part of our soul. Hmm. Well, um... Well, there is the lost trove, but why don't you try and make your own stories? Now you're just being ridiculous. <sighs> Let's get on with the day. Well, she does approve plus two. And that was an interesting conversation. I'm glad she actually brought up uh, the dwarven legends. That's really cool. And it seems like she's more friendly uh, towards a dwarven uh, warden commander than uh, a human one. Because I remember when I was a human mage uh, for this, for my first playthrough, she wasn't too warm towards me until much later. But she actually seems at least eh, fairly neutral to partially friendly. Which is good. That's very good. But, unfortunately, we are over the time limit, so I'm going to save and cut the video off here. But, of course, as usual, I will see you all in the next installment. Thanks for watching.